Thank you for the invitation. It's my great honor to be able to, to participate in this webinar. I would like to share on the hybrid angel city in complex intervention, the geographic Google Maps and seeing the unseen. These are my disclosure. Angel city introduces us to the third dimension in interventional radiology and oncology. It brings us the new principle, new perspective, and new game plan. And it stretched beyond the 2D and geography, the luminograms, into the era of 3D and 4D and geographic interventions, an era of 3D planning and 3D guidance. It also enable us to perform combination therapy, like in this patient, a single session with MRE and TAC. Conventionally, the 2D and geography offer us the 2D luminogram, and in most of the time is a conjecture against because of the limitations of 2D angiography, we overlapping tissue plane for predictions of central tumor ablation, limited assessments of collateral damage, limited assessments of 3D safety margin, limited assessment of critical collaterals and unexpected complication and low contrast resolution, not to say many are unseen. Many IRC, I already have a high end DSA angiography suite. Why do I need a hybrid angio CT then? This is a case of giant HCC embolized in the year 2001 using CTAS. And angiographically, it appears that the tumor is densely ablated. However, on the follow-up CT scan, large areas of viral tumor nests are still visualized. This is the result of failure of 2D visualization. On the other hand, in this patient with CA breast and bilateral lung metastasis. She was referred for bronchial chemosaturation for salvage therapy. The region at risk is the anterior spinal artery. The microcatheter in the right bronchial artery and the CT right bronchial arteriogram shows dense depositions in the right tracheal bronchial system. And then on the surgical reconstruction, the anterior spinal artery was not seen and we are clear to proceed. On the left, we thought it was a left bronchial arteriogram. However, on the CT scan, it showed the obfuscation of the paraspinal muscles, and hence it was a left intercostal arteriogram. Embolization is aborted, and this is also a failure of 2D visualization. And your city has undergone the 29 years of deployment. It's only in 2015 that Toshiba agree to sell it worldwide. And this is our This right. is the first machine. First machine in the world, an angel city hybrid machine. All right, which is first invention. And 29 years down the line, we have this advanced data art system. This is my lab. And we have a 160 slides MDCT mounted on the uh, rail, which is sliding in and out of the uh, area of interest, and with a floating tabletop, as well as an CT arm, which can be swinging in and out. With that, we are able to carry out all the combination therapy. The system comes with a 4 CMG axis coverage and 0.35 rotational scan time. All right, in APCIO 2019 tests, given all A star score for all the capability, including the planning, guiding, real time, spatial resolution, 3D, the manipulation capability and confirmation of diagnosis in his invention. I would like to share with you the power of Angel City seeing the unseen. In the hybrid Angel City system, we have two arms, the angiographic arm, which is offering us the 2D angiographic study, the angiosome, the vascularity, the hemodynamic and angio architecture, as well as the potential shunt in sizing of embody. In addition to that, we also offer us the angiographic Google Map capability. The CT arm provide us with the region at risk, 3D visualization, 3D angiography, and more importantly, the 3D safety margin assessment, as well as the embodied density, outcome prediction, detection, complication, and game, game playing change. 
the 3D CT volume or data set offer us the ability of reconstructing the arterial supply during tumor. And with the angiographic and both track capability, we are able to outline the feeding arteries and hands and enable us to do super selective cannulation with more assistance and accuracy. These are among the few cases we have done with the soft other systems and we are able to achieve the target as expected. In addition to the uh, DSA and geographic system, if we combine the two, we are able to provide another level of the service, uh, upscale, le upscale level to the combined volume CT fluoroscopy and CT microangiography by parking the C-arm and the CT scan side by side. With this combination, the four CMG axis coverage on the CT scan will be able to give us an excellent four-step snapshot or low-dose target area uh, evaluation. And with this data set, we are able to reconstruct 3D angiographic images as well as various multi prana reconstruction in providing us a more accurate assessment and avoidance of critical structure. This is done by doing the CT scan next to the uh, angiogram uh, uh, system, and we have snapshots of 0.35 seconds at four cm thick using hand injection of one to two mils of contrast at a two to four second delay. We are able to outline uh, volume data six of four cm uh, uh, target area in providing the detailed intervention. And the radiation dose is extremely low. The one shot CT fluoroscopy is 0.03 to 0.1 millisievert, and volume data set is 0.075 to 0.2 millisievert as comparing with a whole series of MDCT uh, measuring for 3.4 to 8.5 millisievert. The principle of volume CT fluoroscopy and CT microangiography involve the form. CM volume CT acquisition at low dose. It allow organ at risk identification, it allow MPR assessment and avoid Z-axis partial volume link. It allow precise linear placement in Z-axis. It allow super selective target, outright assessment, 3D safety margin assessment, and 3D correlation and device planning and navigation, especially multiple devices are being used. It also allow a 3D angiographic reconstruction and vessel analysis and hands a 3D angiography and providing the 3D MO track guide. As in this case, the, the volume CT fluoroscopy allow us to acquire a CT microangiography and know that the micro is in the target area of interest to provide the dense embolization of ACC. Concept of 3D safety margin has become very popular and very important where the embolic agents to cover the entire tumor with a good margin, which is called positive 3D margin. And Miyama in this paper illustrated that positive 3D margin, the local recurrent rate is 29.1% as compared with 100% in the absence of 3D margin. Similarly, this paper from Thailand also illustrated that 11.3% recurrent rate in positive 3D margin and 82.4% in the negative 3D margin. I would like to share with you the first case where the patient had extensive liver metastasis from CA pancreas with rapidly flaring tumor from 6 to 12 cm, and she was referred for salvage regional transarterial chemotherapy. The role of angel CT here is on the region at risk, 3D visualization, 3D safety margin, and embolic density. This is the CT angiography, which shows a hypervascular tumor in 7, 6, 7, 8, and 4A. And on the DSA angiography, it shows faint tumor stains and precise feeding artery to the area of interest cannot be ascertained. By using and we'll track technique, we mark the area of interest and we are able to reconstruct the arteries with the embo track guidance. And by rotating the 3D volume data set, we are able to come out, come to a definite or vast angle projections and 
fusing the 3D angiography with the light fluoroscopy, the artery of interest can be easily selected. And with this dense embolization, we are able to deposit the tumor into the tumor rather than the normal liver. And notice that there is an area of a 3D, uh, negative 3D margin, which need to be attended to on the subsequent session. The patient had four cycle of trans arterial chemo saturation and we achieved a complete remission. And this emphasized the uh, role of angel CT achieving a good clinical outcome. Another patient with embo track guidance, we ruptured 6 CMHCC, and the patient was uh, only treated with uh, percutaneous drainage and given an appointment to come back for the case in an academic hospital. She, however, defaulted and went for Chinese herb and she came back seven months later with massive tumor progression, upper fibrotium 14,559, CPS B7, and areas of impending rupture. In view of the advanced stage, we shall see intermediate B4. The MDD team decided to start with targeted drug followed by transarterial internal embolization at that days. This is after 20 days of lambatinib, the alpha fetal protein dropped by 50%. And we take the patient back a month later for selective transarterial internal embolization to assist plastic chemo infusion, emphasizing the four essential roles in game planning in this particular case. The right inferior phrenic artery, parasitic extra supply, and the seven four artery was selectively candidated with dense embolization of the areas and followed by rapid uh, decrease in the alpha fetal protein. And the second session was done a month later with ablative immobilization by a visiting professor in a live conference using 30% internal epilogue and high risk cisplastin. However, it fails to work. And I have to take the patient back for a third session of trans internal embolization with that taste, and first uh, concentrating on the residual mining supply. We put six mils of epilogue, six mils of alcohol, 12 mils of epilogue, tandem 75 times two mils of service in 100 mg and cisplus in 30 mg. And the alpha fetal protein dropped further to 963. And on the completion uh, CT scan, it showed that there's a divider defect in segment eight adjacent to the IVC, which uh, indicating a negative 3D safety margin. And sure enough, on the full opacity, it showed marked FDG evidence. And in view of this close uh, positioned with the IVC and adjacent critical structure, microwave ablation is deemed not safe. And she was offered the surgical resection as per MDT recommendations. However, on Deva, the tumor was stuck to the left haptic veins and was not surgically removable. Hence, and on Deva, intraoperative microwave ablation was performed but failed. So the next Cause action would be to continue in lambatinib and to initiate super selective CTAs or trans arterial internal embolization. We decided to back to liquid with the viral internal embolization and using angiographic Google Map uh, assistance. By outlining the area of interest using the software and the correct angulation, we like to target the area of interest. And with the 1.8 French microcatheter, we successfully candidated the feeding artery and then embolization was active. This is on table, complete ablation and the follow up. Uh, alpha fetal protein show further decrease of 3 to 5, and the three month for MRI show a complete response. And then uh, nine months further uh, improved further to the alpha fetal protein of 3.1, and today the patient's still alive. Hence, EmboTrack, the angiographic Google map, offer us many advantages in terms of angiographic pathfinding in complex vascular anatomy, and just some delineation, optimize target and best selection in my angiographic grant, and increase procedural safety.
In other case, patient with progressive shortness of breath and stride down for two months treated as bronchial asthma by a GP presented to a hospital with cardiovascular collapse because of the airway obstruction. She was intubated and resuscitated. And on the uh, bronchoscopy, we showed two uh, large tumor obstructing the trachea and the carina. The biopsy showed that it was adenoid cystic carcinoma and oncology refers uh, opinions was no amenable oncological solution and not radiation sensitive. And she was advised to have local regional therapy. We decided to perform argon plasma coagulation under bronchoscopic guidelines. And this is a coagulation technique and see that sometimes it caught fires, which is easily put off with normal surmise. And after two hours of uh, intensive work, we managed to devour the tumor all over the crina. And the HP showed that there's no NGS, uh, no clinical silicon relevant to the cancer type was detected. Uh, trigger, cover trigger stand was inserted. And two weeks later, by later, Right and left bronchial artery transarterial chemo saturation was performed with Bacitexels 45 mg and EPU DC 50 mg embolized with embolcept 450 mg. This was the right and left bronchial artery embolization. And on the post embolization, it showed dense staining of the tumor and arterial node. And the broad CT, uh, PET CT3 later showed marked partial response. And the research tumor in the upper third was embolized through the inferior thyroid artery with the same protocol. And this shows then tumor stains and additional neoadjuvant uh, IV cisplastin, some tree cycle and adjunctive DXD vice fraction was performed after the third session of APG. This is nine month follow up, and this is 21 follow up show that complete remission and recognition of the trachea, the stand was removed. Back to the combined volume CT microscopy and CT microangiography, this has opened out another dimension in super selective high intervention. This is a case of 73 years old male with stage four RCC, who had active ideal bleed, not uh, correctable with uh, conservative Treatments and 10 points of flexure was transfused with hemoglobin persistent at 5.5 gram percent. And there was an active bleed demonstrated on the standard MDCT in the proximal eye. However, on the DSA, NGO, and CT, SM8, it failed to demonstrate the source of bleeding. Knowing where the bleeding source is, we decided to perform a third IVO CT8 and Sure enough, it demonstrate the active bleed from the posterior wall of the proximal idiom. This was super selectively cannulated. We thought we are in the right area and to, to embolize this vasa rector. However, the podium CT fluoroscopy and angiography showed that the catheter is in the anterior wall. So a repeat cannulation was carried out and super selectively we were able to identify the Feeding artery toward the bleeder and embolize so with two pushable coin, and precisely the bleeding was controlled. Amor track in those contrast dose reduction is another great uh, facility and uh, advantageous. This patient with uh, large uh, second calculus post PCNR with massive bleed and this as a body weight 105 kilograms and you hear about uh, females, the immediate concerns of embolization is contrast and toxicity. We did a right wing angiography with eight mules of EC pig, but showed uncertain area whether the AVFs is over the upper mid pole or lower mid pole. And on the CT angiography of the right wing artery with 12 mules of contrast at 30%, we outlined the AV fistula precisely, and by using AmboTrack blending software, we are able to find a 
best angle projection and using 3D uh, angel uh, images, uh, micro catheter is inserted right to the level of the EV fistula and embolized precisely. And total contrast yield is 24 mils. In another patient, when the aneurysm is not seen, both um, in, in this patient, a spontaneous left renal beat was, uh, has occurred, blood loss of polyether, and the use of angiographic map assistance. We are able to identify the source of bleeding despite a negative ESC angiogram. So on the CT angiogram, we pick up three pseudoaneurysms, and these were all selectively guided using embo track techniques and selectively embolize each and one, each and every one of the pseudoaneurysm precisely. And this is the follow-up CT on, ta on table CT. Uh, BSA NGO and follow-up CT scan three months later shows remission of pseudoaneurysm. In summary, hybrid NGO CT offer the Google map in angiography, offering the capability of seeing the unseen, expanding the horizon and beyond the expectations. And this offer interventional radiology, a new landscape, transcending life, bring new hope, bring new solution. Thank you for your attention.